place you hear. If social media is with cities, Facebook would be Detroit because it's a shithole. Instagram would be New York because all they do is front and flex on that damn site. Twitter would be LA because everybody think they famous. And MySpace, they'd be Cleveland because nobody wants to go there. Any nigga with a SOD money get... <laughs> Can't even read this shit with a straight face. Yo, any nigga with SOD money gang in your Twitter bio, just please kill yourself. People ask the simplest questions on Twitter. They could have just Googled. Then they get mad when people give them a smart ass response. iPhone niggas don't even know how to speak English anymore. They just be using emojis. Social media is the new black exploitation, man. They rather use Terrio's 15 seconds of fame to make him dance in a cage like an animal for some biscuits at a club instead of doing something productive like, you know, with longevity. Like, if I was Terrio's keeper, like, I'd make this motherfucker do like a fitness DVD, get fit with Terrio, make his little fat ass lose some weight, get some money, and then he'll be a hero to the kids. But they rather just have this nigga dancing in cages at nightclubs and taking pictures with celebrities. What the fuck? <laughs> People spend hundreds of dollars on tickets to their favorite artist concert just to record it all with their phone. I know y'all seen these videos. These motherfuckers be standing in the crowd at the damn concert with their hands, both their damn hands up, with their phone up recording it all. Bitch, enjoy yourself. Bitches on Facebook be like, my name is Tiffany, can swallow a whole jar of peanut butter with no water, Smith. And then they get mad when they can't get a job. It's 2015 and people still haven't figured out putting out your personal business on social media will just get you made fun of. Nobody cares what you going through. The Nintendo Miiverse forums on Wii U is a breeding ground for man-child social reject. Niggas be on Twitter like, retweet this tweet if you breathing. If you ever watch Vlad TV on YouTube or World Star videos, then you know what the dislike squad is. I mean, this shit is funny, but y'all the pettiest niggas on the internet. These Instagram hoes, I mean models, they be kissing niggas like Welvin the Great in the mouth. Oh, fucking, I don't even know what that nigga is. He's some type of Pokemon or something. They be kissing that fucking locked jaw ass nigga in the mouth. And then they be getting mad. I know y'all seen this shit. This bitch kissed this nigga in the mouth. Then she got mad. Took him to take the picture down. She was embarrassed. No, you wanted your fame. And now all of a sudden you realize who you kiss. Like these, the point I'm trying to make is these bitches will do anything for some damn fame. Bitches used to suck a dick to get into a damn music video. Now they sucking dicks to get fucking Instagram like. Meek, uh, we've been waiting on your response because uh, Drake already dissed you back to back. Social media has shown me how far we still have to go regarding race issues in America. Social media, social media has shown me that we still have a long way to go regarding race issues in America. I mean, sh you still see stupid shit on Twitter like, why, why do all black colleges exist? If if it was all white colleges, that would be racist. School system, please, Obama, somebody, nigga, invest in fucking more education because <laughs> I'm done, yo. Have our attention spans really been reduced to six second vines? What I hate about social media is anybody can make a story up online, man. All you need is a heartfelt picture that's worth a thousand words and some text in white. I know y'all seen this shit before. Niggas don't know how to use spell check because they too busy trying to get a blue check on their damn Twitter profile. Thievery is so bad on social media that I have to watermark all my videos in the middle of the damn video because people will steal my shit and then they'll crop out the watermark if I put it like on the top left or the top right. Like, are we thirsty? Are we that thirsty? Damn. People talk shit about their job online and get mad when they get fired. Rappers. Please stop snitching on yourself and your music. Bobby Smurder, this nigga said in his song, Mitch caught a body about a week ago. And when they arrested him and his whole GS9 crew, they arrested Mitch. I'm pretty sure it has something to do with the fact that he caught a body about a week ago in the damn song. Like, stop, stop. Now, this is a real social media throwback. Remember back in the MySpace days when rappers used to embed their music player in the comment section of some people's pictures? Like, usually it was like, because before Instagram, the hoes used to post their pictures on MySpace, the half naked pictures. And then mixtape rappers was trying to get their shit heard. They used to embed their damn music player from their page in the comment section below the damn person's pictures. It would be either fucking hoes' pictures or celebrities' pictures. And then whenever you would open the picture, right? All you would hear is fucking like 30 songs playing at once. You'd be like, ah, if you had fucking headphones on. That shit was the worst, man. 
I was the whew. God, rappers, you people. <laughs> <laughs>